Hi everyone! So I'm just going to go over a basic tutorial on how to make the flower pot that we're going to be making in our next meeting. This video is just a supplemental so you guys get familiar on what we're going to be doing during the meeting so you won't be as confused. And again, if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to comment down below or talk to us in person or email at us at waltonswe at gmail.com. And so if that's all the way, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I have Vision Up open right here, and I'm going to start by creating a new sketch with this button up here. And um, I'm going to start on this plane. So I'm going to click on that. And then um, because the flower pot bottom is circular shaped, I'm going to go ahead and create a circle by pressing this button up here. I'll go ahead and click it, and I'll adjust the diameter to be 1 inch. While making this flower pot, we definitely have to make sure we account for how much material we are using because we are 3D printing this. 3D printing uh, material is kind of expensive, so I want to make sure that one, we don't use too much material, and two, it prints fast because the larger the object is, the longer it takes to print. So I'm going to make this one inch. I'm going to click this finish sketch button up here, and now we have our circle. So I am going to be doing something new, so I'm going to create an offset plane. And by clicking this button up here, it'll let me select a plane or like a different face. So I'm going to go ahead and select this circle that we created before. And what this does is pretty much creates a plane where you can start sketching from. I will use this plane to determine the height of our um, flower pot in total. So like from the base to the top. So I want the flower pot to be 1.25 an inch and a quarter. And so now we have a plane and with this plane we can actually create a new sketch on this plane that we just created so i went ahead and clicked this create sketch button and i will go ahead and click this plane and now we are starting a sketch on that plane if i rotate the cube during the sketch you can see that we started above the sketch we made earlier and so you know how flower pots are like kind of like like diagonal on the sides <laughs> So I'm going to create a new circle using this button up here that's slightly larger than the circle we created earlier. So I think I'll make it 1.25 inches and click enter and finish sketch. So this will be um, creating a circle that's like slightly larger. So when I bring this down, it will like connect to you like that. So now um, we have two circles. Now what do we do next? So we go to this create tab, click down, and then we'll go all the way down to the loft button. And what this button does is that you can select two um, planes, which or two shapes, which I'm going to select this one and this one, and it actually connects the two. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And what this does is create a solid circular shape that has like a diagonal bottom, like a regular flower pot, right? I actually don't really like how this looks like because this area is a bit too wide and this area is a bit too narrow. So what I'm going to do is you can actually um, edit the sketches you've already made by going down to this bar right here. This is like the history bar. It's like what you've done in the past. So if I want to just like say the first circle we made, I'll go ahead and click on this sketch. I'll double click it. And right here, it will take us back to the original sketch. I'm going to edit this diameter to be 0.75 three-fourths of an inch and I think that may improve it nope <laughs> okay now it's too tall so what I'm gonna do is actually um, change the height of this so you know how we had to create a plane to make this second circle so what I'm gonna do is actually adjust the height that plane is set to and what this would do I'm gonna set it to one inch and what this will do will actually lower the height of the total um the total height of the flower pot so now that looks a lot better. So we have the basic structure of our flower pot. Now we have to go ahead and cut this out a bit. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and edit the sketch again. Double click on it. And then I'm going to use the offset tool that we used before when we we're making the house. So go up here to offset. Click on the circle you made. And because this is like the bottom part, I'm going to um, make the offset circle inside. And I'm going to do minus 0.125 inside of this regular circle. I'm going to click OK. And I will go ahead and do the same thing um, to the larger circle. Double click on this thing right here to get to the larger circle sketch. And then go up to the offset button. 
and then um offset this circle by 0.125 okay so when you see that i typed in 0.125 but it actually went on outside rather than inside so what you can do is put a minus sign in front of it and then minus 0.125 and it'll switch the directions it is offsetting in and i'll go ahead and click ok so now we have like the little outside perimeter so i'll click finish sketch create a new loft over here and you see how the sketches kind of like disappeared when we did the first loft you can actually make it reappear by going to this tab right here clicking it and then there's like this little like eye shape thing that you can click on again and it will show the sketches that you made earlier that disappeared so i'll go ahead and click this um center circle right here and this circle right here and it will cut make a loft that actually cuts into the material already made so you can see like kind of this like red area that's where it's going to cut into so I'm going to press OK, and there you go. Now that is right. So now it's kind of hollow in the center. Oh, but you see this? There is actually a hole at the bottom. You can't help that now, can you? So what I'm going to do is extrude these two bottom shapes up 0.125 to make it like a solid bottom. So the 0.125, and you see it like kind of cuts into it. So you actually have to change it from cutting into it to um joining with whatever object you made which in this case would be the outside perimeter so um you can go over here to operation and right now it's set to cut so you can click onto this and you can reset it to join click ok and it will actually join to the original model that you made so now we actually have a bottom there you go i will um unview these sketches and now we have a bottom to our little flower pot very nice all right, so let's see, what should I do next? All right, we have to add like dirt to it because um, flowers can't stand by itself. So um, what I'm going to do is extrude this bottom portion, E, and then pull it up, 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 and then it'll automatically join. So I'll click OK. And now we have like a little place we can put our flowers in. Um, this outer perimeter right here, you see the circle how there's like some gap in between the circle you can fill it in with whatever you want i feel like it's more natural to fill in like some dirt you have at home just so it could like it kind of like blends in with everything else it fits with like the nature theme or you can add some extra fluff to it but the actual um 3d printed flowers and leaves that we are making are going to be attached to the center part so um while we aren't going to be making the um leaves and flowers in this video I'm going to go ahead and um, fix this pot so that it can actually hold the leaves and flowers that we're going to be making. Hi guys, it's Editing Melanie. Um, I know my voice sounds really weird right now because I'm sick, so just don't worry about that. But um, So I just realized that my video isn't really explaining why we're doing this next step, so I'm just here to show you guys exactly what we're doing. So here on my screen is the final product of what we're making. It's a flower pot with the leaves and flowers. And so pretty much the purpose of um, this, what we're doing in this bottom circle is that when you lift up these things up, like they're supposed to like actually like insert themselves into the pot like this so they don't, they can't move around. So we're making a semi-cycle shape for this just so it has a secure place to like stay inside the pot without like moving around, rotating or anything. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. So yay, editing Melanie out. <laughs> So I will click on this circle, um, center diameter circle button, create a circle that is 0.125. And then it's like too close to the edge. I don't like it being that close to the edge. So I can actually click the center and drag it over since I didn't actually set where the circle is within this circle. So that looks pretty good. And so what I'm going to do now is create a line going from the center across, center across. And then um, we have a circle with a line in between it. So what I'm going to do is get the trim button up here and trim off this extra part we don't need. And so now what we're left with is a semicircle. I want multiple leaves and flowers in this pot. So what I'm going to do is actually click, like click on empty space and drag to like kind of select the entire shape that we just made. And then I will copy and paste that three or four different times to make different spots for our um, new flowers and leaves. So I'm gonna do control C and then control B. And then what it does is copies and pastes it, pastes the shape that we already have on top of the shape before. 
So you see this little box right here? You can actually click and drag this and it'll drag whatever we copied and pasted over to a different section. So I can click enter and that will kind of like solidify where it is. And then I will continue to do that one more time to make a total of three leaves or three spots for leaves and flowers. I'm going to finish sketch and then um, I'm going to extrude these, all these um, shapes down into the circle to like cut into it to make like a little gap where it can, the leaves and flowers can be placed into. So I'm going to use this extrude button over here, click on the three shapes we made and pull it down minus 0.1 or actually 0.25. That sounds good. And then enter. And now we have our flower pot with the little spots where our leaves and flowers can go. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay, one more thing that um, is always good to know when cutting is the fillet button up here. Or fillet. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Fillet, fillet, whatever. Um, so what this does is if you click on this and then you click on an edge of a 3D model, you can actually round out any corners. So I'm going to cancel this. So it um, running out the corners makes it a lot easier to 3D print and it makes it a lot smoother to the touch. So it doesn't kind of like, it's not sharp. It doesn't hurt you. So it's good practice to do that with all corners that you are going to be touching and using. So I'm going to go ahead and click the fillet button and then um, fillet these edges right here. And then just click and drag. It doesn't really matter how much it's filleted. I'm going to put it 0.01. Or 0.02. Yay, that looks good. Enter. And so now these corners are now rounded. And now when you 3D print this, it won't actually hurt to touch. Um, and if you see here, there's like this little area. This has like a pretty sharp turn too. So I would go ahead and um, fillet this as well by clicking on that edge and pulling it up. It's kind of hard to see from here, but it will um like kind of just like round this edge out. Make it a lot easier for the touch. And click OK. That looks pretty good to me. All right. And then the bottom one, um, the bottom edge right here, we should get the same treatment as the top. So I'm going to click the fillet button again. Click on this edge. And then put um, 0.02 and enter. And that should be our completed flower pot. That looks pretty good. It is ready for our um, leaves and flowers to be um, made and inserted into it. So I can go ahead and save this by clicking the save button up here and I'll go ahead and name this pot or flower pot. pot. And then click save. And that should pretty much do it. We have our flower pot and I will see you in the next video so we can start and make our flowers. Bye!